Alright. Let's venture on in since this guy's so conveniently just gonna let me go. Cause he feels bad. The rest of them aren't gonna be so nice though, I'm sure. That's what I got Fox for. <laughs> Fox, I swear you're retarded. <laughs> Oops. Uh oh. Wait here. This doesn't look good. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brock? You can't cave the tunnel snake, man, because we rule. Stay back. Taylor, stop! Why are you doing this? Sorry guys. <laughs> God, you're such an idiot. You were being nice and letting me go and then you had to be stupid. Because I took down one of your friends who was being a douche. Let's go into the store and see what we got in here. <clears throat> Chip Taylor, a dead kid. Any weaponry stored up in here? Or ammo? Anything? Nothing useful. Alright, here's the bathroom, so I know I'm in the right general area. Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough damage. Shut up. Where's Amada? That's the bathroom, I don't wanna go in there. I don't have to pee. Diner, let's go to the diner. There we go. This is where I wanted to go. Damn. Look who's come waltzing back into the vault. <laughs> it takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed <clears throat> up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. Okay, what kind of help? What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole <clears throat> overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Huh. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Man, screw the entire vault. What about me? Even these rebels just want the option to go outside for lousy trading and stuff. I just want to get the hell out of here for good. Why stay here and be stuck as a barber for my entire life when I could go out there and make my own choices? Uh... The damn goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. Uh -huh. I'm a barber, you got that? There's a difference. I'll start a gang, of course. Why, it'll be the toughest... Coolest, badassest gang the Wastelands have seen. <laughs> badassest. Hey, play your cards right. Maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? Yeah, but I'm thinking it'll be a new gang. We ain't gonna just be in tunnels, you know. Besides, there's gonna be a lot more people who want to join. The <laughs> competition's gonna be tough. Why should I help you? I'll be on. you later. Maybe. Yeah, probably, if you don't be stupid. <clears throat> okay, so we can't get into the atrium that way. 
Too bad you can't hit the fire alarm. <laughs> that pissed some people off. Oh my god, you're <clears throat> back! You got my message and actually came back! Yep. Oh, thank you! Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, you can help set things straight. I just wish we could have saved more people. Jonas and, and the Hannons and so many others died that night. It was bad enough they died because my father was trying to keep the door closed. But then I found out it was all to protect a lie. <laughs> I found out the vault wasn't always closed. They've lied to us about it for our entire lives. After that night, I heard Wally's father say we should never have taken you or your dad into the vault. I found out the vault used to be open, but for some reason, they closed it off when we were babies and swore to hide that it had ever happened. But keeping that lie meant Jonas's death. And even though we know the truth, the Overseer still won't let us make our own decisions. <coughs> yeah. You're absolutely right. It's not like we want to abandon the vault or anything. Well, Butch does, but he's too big a coward to go out on his own. Most of us had accepted that the outside was certain death, and things would always stay the same down here. But now we know they don't have to be. After all, it was enough to get you and your dad to leave, so there <laughs> must be something good out there. <laughs> Alright. I just don't know. Maybe he thinks he's protecting us, but all he's really doing is condemning us. I thought parents were supposed to want a better world for their children. Well... There's a new world waiting right outside that door, and we're not going to give up until we can reach it. Okay. The real problems came after you two left. The injured had nobody to turn to since our doctor had run off and his assistant had died. Now, we've got to rely on that old Mr. Handy for most of our medical needs, and he hasn't exactly got the best bedside manner. Ever had an examination from someone with cold metal pincers? You don't want to. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. Oh yeah. You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter uh -huh. what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Yes, Just, yes I can. Please don't do anything rash or hurt him, alright? I should have remembered. I was just worried. Oh, unknown demon is playing Team Fortress. The outside had changed you. Thanks, and good luck talking to him. Let me know when you change his mind. Alright, I'll do that. Now I gotta find my way upstairs. I never oh. thought you'd be back. Foxy scared me, you a hole. Alright, so I need to find a new way to get over there. Cause I can't get through that door. Um, can we make it through this one? Change the overseer's mind. Whoa. How may I serve you, master? So I see that, uh, when you went into your poetry career, you actually broke a leg. <laughs> God, that's so evil. You've got to change the overseer's mind. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. As soon as I find my way. Why do I get the feeling that I should be playing Team Fortress 2? Everyone else is. <laughs> I don't need to go into the reactor. Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough damage. Oh, shut up. 
I don't want to go to the cigar lounge. Don't want to go to the apartments. Well, maybe I do want to go. Maybe going through the apartments can get me to where I need to go. Inaccessible. Stupid doors. Jesus, Fox, you're like scaring the crap out of me. Do I need to go pee? What's down here? Storage. Yeah, let's go back through here. Ooh, fox. What's the big idea? That's not where I need to go. I need to go upstairs, not down. Alright. Well, I see you've returned. <laughs> Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. Well, uh, that would be where you're wrong, young man. By locking down this <laughs> vault, I'm protecting its future. In fact, I was protecting its future when I had to make those unpleasant choices the night you and your father abandoned us. I only wish I could have stopped your father before he left. If anyone's to blame for the unpleasantness, it's him. Spoken like someone who's <clears throat> never had to make difficult decisions. Like someone who's never had to lead. Jonas was <laughs> leaving with your father. Their departure would lead to others leaving as well. And before you know it, half of the vault would be gone. And then, our home, the last safe, pure bastion of humanity, would be reduced to a lonely handful of aging holdouts, too few to continue. <laughs> And what makes you so certain about that? Oh, because I've been out there, stupid. So naive after spending time in that hell outside. None of them know what the outside is like. And most of them would die out there. Then the rest of us inside would eventually die out too. I won't risk all of our lives just for a few people's passing fancy of taking a wasteland vacation. I hope you can understand that. To fix what you started? Go Come ahead, humor me. humor me. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how <clears throat> better to protect this vault? We can make more. That's what humanity does. <laughs> It survives. So what humanity does is inbreed. I deeply doubt it. But your naive ramblings do have a certain entertainment value. <laughs> to fix what you started? Go ahead and heal. Oh, Jesus. That was right. You need to open the vault. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? The mission of this vault has always been to ensure a safe haven for pure humans. We owe it to our species to keep that mission. No. No, no, no. It's The mission of this vault... Yeah, yeah, shut up. I just don't know. Don't they realize how dangerous it is out there? <laughs> but instead, they would throw away the safety of the vault's isolation just to follow in your footsteps. I can't allow them to do that to themselves or to the rest of us.
to fix what you started? Go ahead and humor me. <laughs> Sorry. I expected nothing less. Sorry, dude. Sucks that uh I couldn't talk him out of that, but Well, I gotta finish the quest one way or another. And that just happened to be the way that it had to be done. What have you done? Hey, what's the word? Because you've always been a good <clears throat> two-shoes. So when I need help, it's what you're going to do, right? You're going to help Amada anyway, right? Just make it so we can leave the vault. And I'll leave and never bother you again. Okay. Whatever. Oh, Amada is going to be so pissed. What have you done? They're all like mourning and stuff. I never thought you'd be back. I never thought you'd be back. Sorry, Amada. The overseer, my my father is dead. What's more, some of the people are saying I should be the new overseer. It's just all so sudden. Oh, I will, believe me. We can open up limited trade with nearby settlements and other areas, and see the world we've been missing. But it's still important that I protect our vault. <sighs> and keep the people within it safe from the dangers of the wasteland. <sighs> even when those dangers have helped us in the past. And that makes the rest of this even harder. I realize that, and I don't blame you. If you hadn't been here, maybe one of us would have done the same. You saved us. But that doesn't change the fact that you killed the Overseer in cold blood to do it. And I can't let that sort of thing stand here. I'm sorry. <sighs> You're a hero, and you have to leave. That doesn't sound like very good thanks. It's a shame you gotta go, but you'll do okay out there, I'm sure. Get my way, Fox. You don't be good riddance. Get out. Good riddance. Get out. Oh, no one likes me. I just saved their asses. What the hell? That makes me angry. That makes me want to kill everyone. Oh well. I'll just go on and continue the main quest. Oh, that was fun while it lasted. Goodbye, Amada. Look at that. The Washington, D.C. skyline. <laughs> the only way to see it better is in person and not destroyed. Alright, where is... There's Grey Ditch. The Citadel.
I'm getting pretty close to um, the end of the main storyline, which means I'll be able to start doing all of the side quests and stuff now. I'm actually gonna turn the radio completely off. That should. There, that should hopefully get rid of the radio noise. <sighs> I know YouTube doesn't like the uh, audio being put up on there, but it's not much I can do about that. All I'm saying is, the longer we sit here, the more time they have to shore up their defenses. We should hit them sooner rather than later. We barely have the manpower to keep the Citadel fortified. We've been over this before, <laughs> Sarah. So we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the pride goes in now, we might have a chance. And if you fail, then what? The risk is not worth the reward. I agree. Without the Gek, the purifier is useless to the Enclave anyway. They may give up before long. I don't like it. You don't have to like it, Sarah. You just have to follow orders. Yes, Father. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the Gek were lost. Were you successful? Yes, I was. Excellent. With that, we hold the key to keeping the Enclave from controlling the Purifier. What do you mean? Explain yourself. Then we must go at once. If you have any other information, tell me now before we mobilize. Any help you can give might save lives. Well, that gives us a little more time. <laughs> but how long do we have before they figure it out? This makes this situation far more dire. If the Enclave has the Gek, there's nothing stopping them from starting the Purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the Pride in. We can do it. We can win this. All right, Sarah. The Pride goes in. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? No, I, I mean, Lee and I have solved the power problems, but... We've only barely finished diagnostic tests. So? It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection system is offline. Rothschild enough, <coughs> can you make it work? Honestly, I don't know. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't, it won't matter in the long run anyway. Then it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yeah. Yes, sir. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that my father and I have been talking. The pride and I have decided that after all you've survived, you've done enough to be an honorary member of Lion's Pride. Okay. So congratulations. Membership comes with some privileges, including our power armor. You want the full suit or the recon armor? Uh, I'll take the power armor. Hopefully, it'll give you a bit of an extra edge. Okay, so do you think you can hold it together for this? Of course. Well, that's what I like to hear, soldier. You all packed? We're not coming back here anytime soon. <laughs> okay, don't be nervous. You'll have the whole pride backing you up, not to mention this giant tin can. 
Just stay safe until we reach the purifier. You're no good to us if you're dead. And don't <laughs> let that thing step on you. Alright, let me... Okay. Oh crap, I can't do anything. One more time. The pride is on me. <sighs> it's Project Purity, but we can't get into the facility with those energy fields up. Rothschild and Lee say this robot should be able to take down the energy fields. So we're on fire support. We stay close to the thing, keep it clear, and get it to where it needs to go. Once the fields are down, we head straight for the facility. We'll use the robot to keep them occupied while we get inside and secure the control room. We need to move quickly before we lose the chance to surprise them. Get whatever supplies you don't already have, and we'll meet in the Bailey. When we're done with this, everyone can have a nice cold glass of water on me. Let's move. All right, Rothschild, fire it up. Pride, move out. Yeah, Pride, move out. Hurry up and move out. Fox, get out of the way. Tab. Let me go ahead and put on my new armor. Oh, wow, this stuff sucks. Holy crap, the Enclave power armor is much better. <laughs> Wait, never mind. The helmet sucks. Okay. So we'll go 70 for that. And um, 38 sneak. Sounds good to me. My science is all the way up, so I can get in the computers. And then we'll go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Where's the one that I wanted? Impartial meditation. Size matters. No. Fifty more pounds of equipment. Nerd rage. <laughs> Oh wow. Okay. 